right on to, to question two. And this time, again, we're, we're really working around the same equation as we did in the last problem, but uh, this is a hard question now, I must admit. And uh, it, But I, I know from previous years that most people wouldn't have been able to do this from scratch because it's, I suppose it requires more than anything, just um, a little bit of experience of doing engineering problems. It's not hard, but you've got to think of, of this as a process. And um, the key to it really is being able to do mass balances. And probably the key to, to solving this is to, to draw a diagram. And uh, so let me just take down a couple of things. And this is a sort of problem you could have done in second year, actually, uh, in the E224. It's one of those tricky kind of problems that you can't really learn off, which is why 224, I think you probably found, was a fairly challenging module. Um, you just had to learn it by doing problem after problem after problem. That's, in a way, that is how you learn engineering. Um, but anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my little sketch pad again, and I'm going to think of all the detail I need. So concentrate a certain solute. So it has a it has a rejection coefficient of zero. That kind of simplifies things a little bit. So let's get into the sketch pad. So I'm going to do a little diagram here. You know, and you know me, my diagrams are absolutely brutal, but I'll do my best. So. We have our tank. <laughs> oh God! Uh, oh, come on, gee, <laughs> like a paper bag. Okay, let me if I. I'll just be a little bit more. Oh no! Need my pen. Right. Okay. So I'm going to draw a little tank here. So. This has 100 litres and we're going to add a load of water to it. <laughs> Sorry, it's just dreadful. Um, and we're going to add a certain amount of it, but so this is water we're adding. The 100 litres here stays the same and while we're dive filtering we go from 20 grams per litre to four grams per liter of our solute. Okay, so, um, and remember th this water that goes through your uh, constant volume dive filtration, it's not increasing the volume of the tank, it passes through, the, if you like, the, the liquid in the tank, goes through your membrane cartridge and comes out as permeate. So at the end of the process, you have permeate tank, and it has a volume VW, and you have your original tank again, which has your volume 100 litres. So this tank here is is this just this tank redrawn. So that's the basic setup you've gone from flushing water through. It all goes through like that comes out the other side. This is where your permeate and it has a certain volume VW and we've got our original tank um, uh, of 100 litres. So I'll actually just delete this here. I need to get Leo to show me how you do the squiggly area. Right, okay, so and I'm going to go here is four grams per liter. Okay, so this is this the original tank now, same volume, but instead of having 20 grams per liter, we now have four grams per liter. So if this is a hundred here, I'm going to write out the mass balance for this. Okay, so I'm going to do a solute balance. And what we had at the start was Remember, the amount of something is going to be 20 by 100. That's how much solute we had. And I'm going to call this C, just C, and let's give it a question mark there. So that initial amount of solute, which is 100 by 20, must be equal to what we have at the end of the process. 
So in our tank, we now have four by 20. And then what we have in the other tank is VW times C. So that's, that's a solute balance um, on the system. So the total amount of solute is originally in the tank, but some has got flushed out into the permeate and the rest of it has remained. So we've only four grams per liter. So the question now is what we're asked what C is. Um, but to get C, we've, we've one equation here with uh, two unknowns, VW and C. Um, so this is just standard chemical engineering mass balancing. There's, there's no theory in there yet. And generally when we're solving these kind of mass balances, we have to bring in some form of theory that, that tells us, well, what is this VW? Well, I'm gonna write the simplified version of, because our rejection coefficient is zero, then we're going to have um, CB final or CB zero where this is B equals E to minus VW over V0, because sigma is equal to zero. So there's no sigma term in this equation here. Remember this, all assessments you have are open book, so you don't have to be learning all formulas like this. Um, so if you, we just do a bit of a rearrangement of, on that, we get VW is V0 log, CB0 over CBF. So that's zero. Um, and that's, these have gone upside down because the minus there. So you'd have minus log CBF over CB0. Um, make that a nice zero. Okay, so that's equal to 100 times log of 20 over 4. So that's what VW is. So VW is equal to, I'll just work that out on my spreadsheet. I must fix my calculator. So it's 100 log 5. So let's say 161 litres. Okay. So, so that's what the volume is. So then I can get um, C equals. So we, I'm going to bring the four over. So I'm going to get 16 by 100 over 161. Sorry, that's not going to be very clear. So that's a multiplied by. Yeah. And that's around 10, isn't it? One, 10 grams per year. So did I do that right? So I brought the four over here. So 20 minus 4 by 100, which is 16 by 100, and I divide by 161. So that's around 10 grams per litre, isn't it? Roughly. So yeah, 1,000, yeah, it's roughly. So again, so that, that's hard, I mean, to do that out of the blue, considering you haven't done B224 for over a year, and, you know, you, you one of the things about chemical engineering or bioprocess engineering, whatever you want to call it, is that a few basic skills are key to it and it's that kind of methodical approach you know what goes in must come out or what you had at the start must be what you have at the end this is a common type of thing where you're you're kind of partitioning very some aspect of the problem from from one tank into two tanks and so you have to be quite systematic about it and then drag in your theory whenever is, is required um, so, so that that would be a challenging question. So, if, if you had no idea how to do that, or uh, you were a bit kind of thrown by it, uh, don't worry. Okay, so that's that one. One more.